In wrapping up week one, I wanted to pass along a few items of feedback for you. Generally, I think we had a very good first week. I really appreciate those who were able to get out into the discussion boards before Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, the flow of information seems to, to go best whenever it starts early and people have time to mull over whatever it is being discussed or look up items related thereto. I will post a model response for your reference so you can see what I'm looking for as an instructor with regard to the discussion board responses. If you haven't had a chance, please go out and take the office hour survey. I want to make sure that the times that you need me most, I'm available. Uh, I'll be available by Skype. Uh, during those times, so getting a hold of me would be fairly instantaneous. In the meanwhile, of course, you can use the other routes of contact that I've mentioned in the syllabus and elsewhere on the Blackboard site. If you haven't done so as well, you need to test your video and your microphone and make sure that they function well together with your software and your hardware. Make sure everything is up to date, including Java. That's usually something that uh, stands in the way of most synchronous communications, so make sure that's all squared away, updated, Windows updates, virus updates, all those things. Uh, in week two, I'm going to ask that you go out and download Skype. Instructions are on the Blackboard. It is a free download, and Skype is one of a number of synchronous interaction tools that we're going to be using. There are a couple of others. The thing about the tools that we're using is they are fairly intuitive, and once you learn one system, it's very easy to take that information and transfer it to another system so that you have something to build upon and it's not like you're learning from scratch. Again, you'll need to test your equipment once you've downloaded Skype. Skype your family, Skype your friends, just get used to using it and the more comfortable you are the easier it will be. Also make sure that you're looking at the checklist for synchronous interactions and that you've taken the time to front load that 15 to 30 minutes that you'll need every time you have a synchronous interaction to ensure that your equipment is, is right and functioning well. Also during that time it's best if you inform people who might be in the same location where you are, whether you're at home or at work, uh, that you will be indisposed for a while so that the interaction goes smoothly and there are no disruptions. You will see a sign-up sheet also next week for individual meetings via Skype. They'll be 10 minutes long with me and I will again probably offer time slots that most closely match what it is you've indicated on the office hours survey that would be uh, good times for availability for you. And finally then, the assignments for Tech 3030 are under construction as I've mentioned before. What I'm trying to do is to make sure that the assignments match the course goals which match the program goals and that everything is aligned in terms of the curricula uh, and, and the goals that we have identified as contemporary goals for the program. That is being in response to what industry and academia are looking for for people in your field. So if you have any suggestions or if you come across item, items of interest, please post those items of interest on the discussion board. Uh, there's an opportunity to rate those as well uh, for your peers who read them. So that will give us an idea of the types of things that you're interested in and the types of things that you find most useful. Again, if you need anything, just give me a call, email, text, or Skype. Thank you.